Hi, my name is Jody Naranjo. I am from Santa Clara Pueblo. I'm a potter and I come from a long line of potters, sculptors and painters um, that do traditional pottery. Um, this is a piece that I've made and what we do is we go out to the hills and we dig um, three different types of clay, um, Santa Clara clay and um, micaceous and a volcanic, volcanic ash. Um, process the three together, mix it, store it, age it a little bit, and then um, make the pieces. So the process I use is I do the coil method, and it's basically I'm rolling out little little um, snakes and building it kind of like a house each piece, um, and then I kind of smooth it over. Um, after that's done, I get them really nice and smooth with sandpaper or a cloth, and then I use a polishing stone to polish this shiny part right here. So I'll polish it and it comes real shiny with the red slip that you would kind of find in the, the Kochi tea area. Um, after that I pit fire. I use cow manure and um, cedar. It burns really hot and fast. And then I get this really cool brown and gray colors. Um, my final step is in the designing. And on this piece it's a landscape pot. So what I did is I have some deer dancers and I carve them on there and then I take all this out from behind. So you're seeing it kind of like a relief pattern on the piece. So here's my deer dancers. And then right here is the Pueblo and the hills with the, with the pinon trees. And then the mountains with the snow, some rain clouds. Um, continues right here is a tree. Um, a buffalo dancer, corn dancer. And then at the end of the buffaloes, they always have the, the antelope, the, the antelopes. So, and then I go again back to my Pueblos. So it's kind of a little landscape pot. I also do this light etching on the top and the bottom. Um, it's kind of like a lace pattern that just makes it look kind of pop out. And then I in, mix in some mica um, on paint to do that. So that's the style of pottery I do. Um, there's probably 40 potters in my family now, artists. Um, I'm related to Michael Naranjo, who's my uncle, who does the sculptures here at the, um, the, the museum. I, as a child, I used to come with him and um, play in the, in the courtyard while he'd bring in his sculptures and stuff, so it's nice to be back after all these years. My grandmother did the utilitarian pottery from Taos Pueblo, and my mom, all my aunts do uh, more of a contemporary pottery like I do. Um, we have a lot of sculptures, um, like San Suensel and Nora Naranjo Morris um, are all in my family as well. Um, so I've been doing this since I was a child, you know, just you're, so you've given clay and you expected to play with it. So you start by making little animals and before you know it, you're making pottery and sitting on the plaza and then you get into galleries and you now I'm 51 and I'm still doing it. Um, you know, I've never had a job so this has been my job and helped me to raise my children, put them through college and I'm a grandmother. So teaching my grandson to make pottery now too. Um, I think that's it, and I hope you like my pottery. Um, thank you for including me in this um, fantastic show, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Hello, this is Marcy Trujillo, and I'm really proud to be a part of the first annual Southwestern Artisans Market. Be introducing you to numerous artists that are going to be here online for this virtual market, and so let's start with Jody Naranjo. This piece here is by Jody Naranjo, a Santa Clara Pueblo potter. She comes from a long line of potters in her family. And the one thing that I really admire about Jody's work is her use of clay and actually the coloring of the clay that she uses, which is a little bit different from the traditional black pottery that is very well notable of Santa Clara Pueblo potters. This one here has a Thunderbird, as you can see. But one thing that's exceptional about Jody is her use of sgraffito, which is the etching into the pot. If you notice this piece here has some beautiful lace sgraffito as well as a Thunderbird itself. You also see more lacing of sgraffito on the underlying pot as well as more sgraffito behind the Thunderbird. Jody's use of clay in her work takes on a more contemporary use of the traditional 
clay from Santa Clara. If you notice with this traditional animal pot here, you'll notice the highlight of the brown, the bronze in the clay, as you can see here in the design work represented by the animals that you see here. And again, in the background, you'll also see the use of Scrofito in her work. This is a fish skull pot by Jody Naranjo, which is a whimsical take on the fish. If you notice also, one of the exceptional points on, these, on this pottery is her use of geometric design incorporated into the pot. Again, you'll also notice the different use of the clay, which actually has the browns, brown hue on the piece itself. So this pottery again is also by Jody, and this one here is a landscape pot. Now this one here represents the relation between the culture and Mother Earth. You'll notice there are different design motifs such as the deer dancer, the corn dancer, and the antelope dancer. You also have the depiction of the rain clouds along with the Pueblo in the background. This one here is represents the buffalo dancer. Again, Jody displays her unique style of scraffito with the lacing on the pottery itself. This here is a Pueblo Girl seed pot by Jody, which is in the A shape and actually is depicting the female as being the giver of life. The women will carry on a lot of the traditional elements of life in public cultures by teaching the young children the stories of their culture. 